What if Earth suddenly lost its moon and we replaced it with other moons from around the solar system? Things would get weird fast. Let's start with Titan, Saturn's massive orange moon. Titan is larger and much heavier than our moon, so its gravity would pull harder on Earth. Ocean tides would grow huge, surging far inland and flooding coastal cities every day. The silver lining? Nights would glow with a thick orange tint, giving Earth an alien-looking sky. Next is Ganymede, the biggest moon in the entire solar system. Swap it in and the effects ramp up. Tides would become extreme, coastlines would erode rapidly, and the added stress on Earth's crust could trigger more earthquakes and volcanoes worldwide. The upside comes far later. Ganymede's gravity could stabilize Earth's tilt, smoothing out climate swings over millions of years. The downside? Life as we know it probably wouldn't last that long. Now imagine replacing the moon with Io, Jupiter's violent volcanic moon. It would dominate the sky, glowing with constant eruptions, but Io's chaos only exists because Jupiter stretches it with gravity. Without that pull, Io would slowly cool, its volcanoes would shut down, and it would eventually become a quiet, rocky moon, not so different from our own. Swap in Europa or Enceladus, and the night sky would turn bright and icy white. These moons reflect a lot of light, but they're much lighter than our moon. That means weaker tides. Over long periods, Earth's axis would become unstable, causing extreme climate shifts, brutal ice ages followed by intense warming. Finally, imagine downsizing to Mars's tiny moons Phobos and Deimos. They're so small they'd barely light the night sky. Tides would almost vanish, damaging coastal ecosystems. And over millions of years, Earth's axis could wobble wildly, potentially flipping climate so much that icy poles and warm tropics could switch places. So maybe our moon isn't boring at all. It might actually be perfectly sized, just right to keep Earth stable, livable, and alive.